Hey guys, today we are with a nice razor. It's a French one. It's uh, S Ray. So the S Ray is a brand that was created in 1943 by someone called Gaston Desulier. And S Ray come from the town of Thiers. And if you look at the way it's written, it's actually written the opposite way of Thiers and it gives you a ray so um, I had to polish it completely as it was quite rusty so now there is no more bevel as you can see but the good news is there is not so much oxidation in the oh, little dent here and the edge looks not too bad okay there is a little pinch also at the end of the the nose so we might need to revise this French nose it's a it's a six eight nice razor really like it and we'll see if we need maybe to round up a bit this nose to move this uh, little dent just at the end that's it we put some tape to protect the spine I put some sharpie to double check that the edge uh, the blade is flat enough and now we'll have a look at that. So I'm using an Atoma 600 Diamond Stone as I need to quickly recreate a bevel. Some back and forward on the stone. Let's have a look. Hmm. You can see a little patch of Sharpie still there. Let's see. Gonna be a quick go again. tiny bit here so the blade is slightly uh, wrapped wrapped uh, so we need to play with our wrist a little bit and go like a little bit like it was a smile blade so from the uh, heel to the nose not too much we don't want to round up the edge but tiny bit and you see here I'm trying to remove this dent just at the top at the tip of the nose so I will have to slightly round up the, the tip I don't want to leave this uh, little dent there it's quite high up actually uh, because if you touch the skin I might get cut that's it. Slightly on that, but the dent is gone. So now we're gonna go just with the usual X strokes. Clean the blade. Looks all right. Light beam is going too well. So now we'll put it under the microscope to see if the bevel is there. Yep, there is a nice bevel created now. The good news again, there is no oxidation. That's very good. It's a very healthy blade. Perfect. Now we're gonna move to the next stone. We're gonna rinse this one. And we're gonna move to the chapter 1000. So it's a very good stone to created the edge so a bit of water and we're gonna raise a nice slurry with a diamond stone on it and that's also helping to keep the, the stone perfectly flat
that's it. So again, back and forward. And we're going to move them to the exports. Again, you can help yourself with the other hand, just do not put any pressure on it. Let's clean the blade nicely and let's try to not cut ourselves. beam goes through well and let's have a look under the microscope and this is the first edge creation yeah it's looking nice it's a nice start if we can create a nice bevel at first and a nice uh, start of an edge it helps for the next steps a lot again let's rinse and clean the, the stone and now we're going to move to the chapter on 5k. Again, same process. Raise a slight slurry on it. Not too much water, just a little film of it. And that's it. So again, same, same. Some back and forward first, and then extrox. And I'm always taking in consideration the fact that at first the Sharpie wasn't going away while with a perfectly flat blade, so I need to slightly curve my move, like a smile a little bit it so I don't know if you've noticed but on each step each stone I've shortened slightly the video uh, but realistically I'm spending on five to ten minutes on each stone usually I will spend more time on the first two steps between 10 and 15 minutes and then around five minutes per stone if it's a healthy uh, clean uh, without any oxidation blade. If not, it could take a lot longer. Now we're gonna move to the Genat Nakayama LV5 plus plus, so very hard stone. And this stone hasn't been lapped for quite a while, so I will use the diamond stone just to reset it properly. And it's also helping. Uh, with uh, is its honing property to lap it from time to time. Not too often this one, I would say. Once every 10, 20 razors. Now we're gonna move to the first Asanonagura slurry stone. And this is the Tenju. Tenju is on seven to eight K. That's it, no pressure when you're raising a slurry. Take your time. Bring it so as you, and that's it. We can start, and now just extracts. Nice and easy. Look at your wrist. Make sure that you have the correct move and that the edge touch perfectly with the stone. There is no need to go fast. Make sure to clean your blade and the stone between each step. You don't want to mix the slurry. Okay, that's the magic of the Jainat. Really a nice um, edge. You can see the slurry has removed all the previous marks, traces of uh, previous stones. 
I'm gonna need to work a little bit on the very end of the tip to round it up a little bit more, not too much. It's tiny dents, but this one shouldn't touch the skin, but still. Now we move to the Asanonagora uh, Medio. And the Medio is around uh, 9 to 10k. more water you don't want a too dry slurry otherwise your slurry will be having a grit which is lower than the previous tone and that's not what you want and then some, some, some nice extracts That's it. Now we're gonna move to the next one, the Asanonagora comma, the last Asanonagora. And this one is fairly hard, so really no pressure. You don't want to scratch your best on. Take your time and we will raise a quite clear slurry with this one. And the grid should be around 12K plus. And at this stage, really no pressure, just the weight of the blade and make sure that it's positioned well on the stone. That's it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Nice, smooth, regular and flat. That's what you want. And it's kind of a sandy texture which is given by the slurry. Perfect. Now we're gonna move to the very last tone. And that will be a Nasano Nagora. Uh, sorry. That would not be a national nagora, that would be a tomonagora. A very similar grit and uh, hardness to my best one, I believe. But I do not know exactly the name of this one. I believe it's a Kita. It was my first Lurie Stone. It's a really good one, I love it. It's becoming small though. And it makes a nice, clear, brownish slurry. And you only need few laps with this one. Not too many, there's no need. That's it. Let's clean the blade and have a final look at our edge. Very nice. That should give us a very nice shave. We'll just get the confirmation by uh, doing a hanging hair test after using the strop. So we'll remove the tape, clean the blade well, and I will give 150 laps on a Kanayama strop. And once this is done, I will go for the usual hanging hair test and see how we go from that. So that's it. Don't know if you will see anything, maybe but light here. The hair is jumping perfectly well. Yep. And I finished it 
with and test chef with my current favorite combo, the Saponificio Varesino Tundra Artica. Really like this one. Had an amazing chef, super smooth. I love this razor and I will keep it for me. <laughs> uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like. And thank you. See you soon. Bye now. Uh -huh.